Hi, we've had a little bit of change of plans for the back of the bench from a headboard project that I'm working on and the copy that I had made of the cushioned seat that we made at Office Depot just freaked me out. I just couldn't get happy with it. The color wasn't going to match. I was afraid it wasn't going to look good. So I ordered a Prima rub-on transfer off of Amazon. I paid $24 for it. It came rolled up in a tube along with a bunch of French words that I'm not interested in putting on there. And it came with a set of instructions which say don't rub it on there until your paint's cured at least 48 hours. And I'm not paying any attention to that. So if this fails, that's, that's on me. And what we did was measure the distance from here to here, mark the center point, and then I wanted the top of this about two inches down to get this a little higher than center on the center of the back. And Eric helped me with that. We used some painter's tape, which shouldn't pull off any of, uh, of my paint that's behind it. But last night, I ran down here real quick and I used some banana peel by Drunk Monkey Paint Company to go ahead and put matte top coat over the paint so that this can adhere to that and not mess up the paint if I had to try to pull it off. So we've got that as the background and it's dried. It does dry very quick. And this, we pulled off of this thick sheet. It was just barely on it. It's not like it was stuck on there or anything. But the way this works, now we got to take where we want it. It's on a like this plastic like this. And then this part is sticky. So the and it, I'm not happy with this either to tell you the truth because there's a little bit of a mauve color in there that doesn't match the cushion that I that I made. So I will look at it for a couple of days and decide whether I'm going to come back with some blue paint and put a little bit of blue on these outer two roses to try to tie them in a little bit better with the color of the cushion. And what I understand from the instructions We've already, Eric helped me get the bubbles out on this piece. Now we have this little stick that came with it, and I'm going to use the stick. Let me see if I can pull you a little bit closer. And this is like a rub on transfer. I feel like I've done the whole thing, but then I feel like I haven't, so one more time. Okay, I'm gonna try to lift this off and see if it has stayed. There's something that didn't move that down. Put that on. I'm all off transfer. Shoot, the paint's taking the paint off. I mean, the tape's taking the paint off. So that's something that I'll have to repair because I'm using the tape on the paint. But I believe the transfer came out in a relatively decent area as to where it should have been. And I believe that it looks okay on there it's going to stay i'm not going to take it off and the next step will be going over what do you do if you believe your transfer doesn't match with the rest of your piece and touching up because i am going to come in and, and touch up a little bit on these flowers because if i don't i'm going to have to recover the whole cushion and i'm not going to do that so i hope you learned from that a little bit so thanks for watching and keeping up with the project i appreciate you